an airplane from crashing and where have you been saving the world no just restoring justice around the world well look who the grumpy cat dragged in I think I hit one of your cars in the parking lot did you drive here no I hit it with my fish The boss is ready to see you now. She meant me. Um, I think she meant me. I'm gonna go first. The boss wants to see all three of you. Have a seat, superheroes. I can do whatever I want. I'm the boss. What did you want to talk to us about? Each of you have been very successful in your individual superhero careers. However, the time has come to see whether or not you can work together as a team. Us? Correct. Today, you will undergo a series of missions that will put your teamwork abilities to the test. Here is your first mission. premises. Your first mission is to put out the fire without using water. You'll want to move quickly because as each minute passes, the fire spreads. Remember superheroes, you must work together. I'm on it. We're on it. How do we put a fire out without water? I think I have an idea. Supergirl, you run over there, create a wind vortex, and I'll fan it. Got it, I'm on it. What do I do? Gatorade. I did it. I did it. Hulk oh, smack. Gatorade still counts as water. You have failed your first mission. I'm feeling gracious today, so I'll give you another chance. Your next mission can be found over by the creek. Let's go. Gatorade still counts as water. Mr. Cuddlesworth! Chubby Bear! Well, uh, I've never seen that before. You have one minute to dismantle the bomb and save your stuffed animals. Remember, you must work together. We need your help! 
stuffed animals are for babies. You saved your stuffed animals, but you failed to dismantle the bomb. Once again, you have failed your mission. I'll give you one more chance to prove you can work together as a team. Your next mission is over by the picnic table. I'm glad you're okay, Junior. Took you guys so long. What's the challenge? I don't know. There's just a can of baby food and three spoons. Your final mission is to eat this entire jar of baby food in one minute. This is your last chance to prove you can work together as a team. Good luck. Yuck. Come on, guys. We can do this. This is our last mission. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, superheroes. Your final mission was a success. You're ready for your first real mission as a super squad. Meet back at headquarters in T-minus 20 minutes for your assignment. Bars. I'll trade you one for a Twizzler. Faith, you know I can't have gluten. Oh, that's right. Hey, let's go up to the school for the Halloween party. I bet they'll have some gluten-free candy. I'm just sick of nobody taking me seriously as a super villain, Hanky. It's like Everybody gets me confused with the boogeyman. The boogeyman isn't even real. Boogers are real. I'm sorry, boogerman. Have a tissue on me. <sighs> Gee, thanks, Hanky. You're welcome, boogerman. If it wasn't for that blasted super squad, I would have achieved world domination by now. You might want to see this boogerman. Supergirl and Captain America trespassing on the premises? Well, 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 if it isn't two-thirds of the Super Squad trespassing on the premises. Who are you supposed to be? It is I, the Boogerman. Don't you mean the Boogeyman? For the last time, I am not the Boogeyman. He isn't even real. Sorry, Boogerman. We've got a Halloween party to go get this right? Not so fast. Ah, 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 shoot. Check a treat. Hey, Captain America. I'm not Captain America. I'm Dracula. Jason, I just got done with hockey practice. Oh. We interrupt our normal programming to bring you breaking news. 
The booger man has just captured two trick-or-treaters near Woodsville Elementary. The trick-or-treaters were last seen wearing Supergirl and Captain America costumes. Whereabouts are still unknown. He probably took those trick-or-treaters thinking it was us. Doesn't he know it's Halloween? He isn't exactly the brightest booger in the bunch. Boogers. Come on, Super Squad. Let's go save us some trick-or-treaters. Just wearing costumes. That's what they all say. Now tell me where the Hulk is. We don't know. Unless you want these two Kit Kat bars to disappear into my stomach. I suggest you better start talking. No, not my Kit Kat bars. You can eat mine. I can't eat gluten. That one. Playgrounds. I think it's letters on the other side. Whatever you do, just avoid the supersonic snot. Okay, team, let's go. More like a burp mean if you ask me. <laughs> Sour Skittles. Oh, those are my favorite. I won't eat them if you tell me where the Hulk is. We don't know. Lies. Oh, oh wow. Uh, oh, these are really sour. How can you guys eat this stuff? <sighs> I think Boogerman's lair should be down that hallway. Was a laser. Oh snap, I think the hallway is armed with lasers. You think? Stay directly behind me. Looking for someone! Boogeyman! Hulk! Super Squad? How can this be? Hey, Booger Man, you know how to make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie on it. No! I can't believe it. You're the real Supergirl. You're the real Captain America. In the flesh. And I'm the real Hulk. <laughs> Thanks so much for saving us. Yeah, this has been a pretty freaky Halloween. Well, it's not over yet. There's a Halloween party at the school. With, With only lemonade cupcakes! I can't, I can't have, have gluten. gluten. A freaky Halloween indeed. At least we can play in the playground. Only three days till Christmas, Jingles. <laughs> I'm so excited I could squeal like a dolphin. <laughs> well, I'm so excited I can tweet like a bird. Well, I'm so excited I can roar like a lion. Now we can all match. 
Okay, Captain. Your turn. <laughs> You're gonna love it. It's me. Thanks, I'll put it next to the autograph poster you gave me last year. Super Squad, I need your help. Oh, Twinkles, what's wrong? Does Santa get stuck in the chimney again? No, it's even worse. I shot Jingles with a teleportation gun, and now he's stranded in Nightwood Forest. Okay, Twinkles, we'll get him back to the North Pole as soon as we can. Please get him back before Christmas Eve. I don't want Santa to find out. He already has enough to worry about because Christmas is in three days. Thanks, Super Squad. Just got a text from the boss. She says she left some gifts for us in the garage that might help us on our mission. Forest was back that way. It says on my GPS to just keep on going straight. Are you using Apple Maps? Yeah. <sighs> I'll just look it up on Google Maps. This place is huge. 
and she can literally be anywhere. Um, let me do a quick x-ray scan. Spider-Man about that back at headquarters. <laughs> that kid was too cute. Yeah. What? My baby. What's going on here? There has been another report of Spider-Man vandalizing property. Witnesses say the superhero has gone on a mad toilet papering spree, leaving authorities to wonder if he has turned into a villain. Stay tuned for more updates on the situation. When we left headquarters, Spider-Man was taking a nap. Why would he do this? I don't know, but I know we need backup. Did somebody say backup? We said backup. Oh, I thought you said backup, like Batman, which I am. I'm... Batman, yeah, we've met. I heard Spidey went rogue on you guys. <coughs> Does any of you happen to have a cop drop? <sighs> ah, much better. And no, Spider-Man didn't go rogue on us. He'd never do something like this. I'm not so sure about that, Captain. His phone is off, and nobody at headquarters has seen him. Charmin, Ultra Star, Jumbo. Follow me. Angel Soft. We're getting closer. 
see Spider-Man. He's right there. He's taking my Batmobile! He stole my Jeep! If you're not the real Spider-Man, then where is the real Spider-Man? Look, we just want to get Spider-Man back safely. All you have to do is tell us where to find him. I've said enough already. I told you Dr. Zuberstein made me pretend to be Spider-Man, and now look at me. He turned me into a sloth. Don't you mean she? Dr. Gooberstein's a girl, you know? Not Dr. Gooberstein, Dr. Zuberstein. He's Dr. Gooberstein's evil twin brother. Evil twins these days. He's not just evil, he's completely bonkers. He turns people into animals because he's trying to make his own zoo. Is that why he kidnapped Spider-Man? Not my name. Well, I can't exactly call you Spider Man anymore, can I? <laughs> You'll never get away with this, Zuberstein. It's only a matter of time before Supergirl and Captain America find me. Oh, my little Mr. Tickles. How will they even recognize you? Especially because you're afraid of spiders. <laughs> I may be afraid of spiders, but I'm not afraid of you. You to tell us where Dr. Zuberstein's lab is. The last time, I don't know. He blindfolded me whenever I came or went, so I wouldn't know where I was. She's probably telling the truth, Captain. Then what are we going to do? For all we know, Spider-Man could be a hippopotamus by now. Wait, did you say Dr. Zuberstein is Dr. Guberstein's twin brother, right? Yeah, they used to be really close. Until Zuberstein went crazy, that is. Let's go. Wait, where are you going? And where's Batman? He went back to Gotham City. Apparently Joker's showing dad jokes again. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back. Chin up, Captain. We'll get Spidey back. Showtime. Dr. Duisine, we need to talk to you. Stand back! It's 
isn't science beautiful? Yeah, um, we need to talk to you about something. If this is about the edible sneakers fiasco, I'm telling you, I already talked to the FDA. It's about your brother. Zuberstein? Oh no, what did he do now? We think he's holding Spider-Man hostage in his lab. Do you know where his lab is? I do, but it's not really safe for you to go there. He's been known to turn trespassers into, well, hamsters. <laughs> Maybe we could trap him. If we set a trap, we're going to need bait. What does Dr. Zuberstein like? We know he likes animals. But does he have a favorite animal? Oh, does he have a favorite animal? I got a nest of pickles! My corgi concoction is finally done! What's a corgi? You don't know what a corgi is? Only the most adorable, cute, four-legged creature to ever walk the face of the earth. All I have to do now is add this magic puppy dust. And I will finally create my own corgi! I guess you could say it's a unicorgi. <laughs> what? I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. So have we. Super Squad! How did you get here? She's fast. I want to be the cheetah at a foot race. But that's impossible! A cheetah is the fastest land animal on Earth! And hey, 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 wait! Where are you going? How am I supposed to- Spidey, you in here? Spider-Man? That's me. Ah, ah, spider! Kill me, kill me! Watch out! Very funny. You want to help me out here? Um, what do we use to change you back? There's a transformer gun on the shelf over there. Ready? Wait, no! <laughs> so, Ziggy, how did you hear about this internship opportunity? Well, my sister told me about it, and as soon as she mentioned I'd be working for the Super Squad, I knew I had to apply. Who's your sister? Dr. Cooperstein. I'm her twin. Not the evil one. That's our brother. I'm the good one. If you have two twins, doesn't that just make you guys triplets? Hmm. I guess I never thought of it that way. Oh well, I'm not the scientist. Okay, well, we could definitely use your help getting stuff done around here at headquarters. I love getting stuff done. Perfect, you're hired. Oh my gosh, this is literally the best day of my life. Thank you so much, Super Squad. Of course. We'll see you tomorrow, Ziggy. Okay. Wanna kiss for the road? You want me to kiss the road? It's chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. Oops. Thanks! I'll see you tomorrow, Super Squad! Bye! Is that about to go? Hey, Ziggy, can you- ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you there. That's okay. I'm a little skittish. I guess I just didn't recognize you without your uniform on. Can I help you with anything? Yeah, I was actually going to ask if you could run my uniform down to the dry cleaners. You want me to run your uniform down to the dry cleaners? Yeah, the one off of Main Street. So I gotta take this call real quick. Thanks, Ziggy.
uniform down to the dry cleaners four hours ago. Thanks, anyways. Okay, will do. Did I grow or did this shrink? I'll just buy you another one. You guys like Adele? Who wants coffee? One for Captain, one for Supergirl, one for Spidey, and one for me. Oh yeah, and here's your ring check. Our what? When I read you Batman's email, you said that you wanted a ring check, so I got you a ring check. <coughs> what flavor is this? Limited edition, hot green chili pepper. Do you like it? Hey Ziggy, um, I think our Nerf guns need to be reorganized. Can you go do that for us? I love organizing. That is literally my favorite thing to do, besides drinking coffee. <laughs> BRB. I don't know if she's cut out for this job. She's trying. Trying to get fired. Well, she's making all these mistakes. Well, I just don't want to be the one that fires her. Fire me? <laughs> Hi guys. I've got a question. Shoot. You want me to shoot? Yeah, go for it. Not shoot me with the sloth gun. to fire you either. Sorry, I just don't know what you guys mean sometimes when you say stuff like that. I think we have some miscommunication here. Fired is a figure of speech to show that someone is losing their job. You're not literally setting someone on fire. And what's a brain check? It's an expression for when you want to reschedule something for later. If you're ever confused about something we say, just ask us. We don't want you to be confused. Thanks, Super Squad. You're a big help, and I promise I will. So is there anything else you need me to do today? Not really, unless you want to unclog the toilets in the men's room. I think I'll take a rain check on that. Time will have to wait. We're late to agility training with the boss. But I've been looking forward to these nuggets all day. Oh, now you have something to look forward to after training. Come on, the boss is waiting. Don't worry, my little nuggets. 
I'll come back for you. Mmm, what time is it? Oh, that's right, it's chicka chicka nugget time. Double nunchuck hit. Should have expected that. Why do I have to learn martial arts when I can shoot lasers from my eyes? Agility is important to all superheroes. You just need more practice. And more food. Can we take a lunch break? Meet back here in T minus one hour to complete your journey. Kids these days. Chicken chicken nugget with a baseball bat. Hey, Batman. Supergirl. Remember those chicken nuggets that I was really excited about eating for lunch? I recall. Well, they're not in the fridge anymore. How peculiar. Any idea where they might have gone? Maybe sprouted legs and walked back to their chicken coop? Impossible. Chicken nuggets don't have legs. You would know, wouldn't you? Since you're eating mine? These aren't yours. I just bought these. Then where? Are my chicken chicken nuggets? Supergirl, my office now. Chicken. He stole my chicken nuggets and he's eating them right in front of me. You don't know that for certain. I'm positive. He stole them right out of the fridge. That doesn't sound like something Batman would do. But if he didn't do it, who did? I don't know. Let's check the security camera footage. We have security cameras? Batman. 
It was unfair of me to accuse you of stealing, and double unfair of me to talk to you the way I did. I forgive you, Supergirl. But if we're going to be a team, we're going to have to learn to trust each other. You're right. I think it's time for some trust falls. Uh, what's a trust fall? Boss! Boss! What's a trust fall? Oh my god! Boss, are you okay? I'm okay. Let's just stick to agility training. to arrive at three. What time is it now? Time to go! Who's this vector? GIS to investigate some superhero sightings. Superheroes! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but ordinary civilians here. <laughs> May I ask your name? Oh, how are you? I'm Rose Mike. I'm Barry Allen. I'm Kara Zarel. And what's your company's name? It's just our 
talking about you. Hey, Inspector! Check out this whoopee cushion! I should be going. Please, Inspector, you can't tell anyone about us. We'll do anything, just don't blow our cover. I will tell anyone on one condition. Can I get your autographs? <laughs> Super Squad. Or should I say John or Methan Soft? <sighs> Boy, that was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did just work for a paper company. It will be cushions. It was just a false alarm. False alarm? Yeah, it wasn't the Joker. It turned out to be just this guy saying some really lame jokes. Anyways, how's your day? It's been good, now that I have my coffee. What would you be like without coffee? You don't want to know. Anyways, um, let us know what the boss calls. We'll be in our office binge watching Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Okay. Can I bring you guys some popcorn? Sure. Great. <gasps> yes. Iggy's working today. Good thing I brought my new horse mask. Jump out from behind your desk and scare her. It'll be hilarious. Uh. Man, I'm the funniest guy I know. Why didn't Ziggy think that was funny? All I wanted to do was make her laugh and now she's mad at me. I'm not giving up. I've still got a few pranks on my sleeve. I'm Larry. I'll get Ziggy to laugh if it's the last thing I do. Ziggy, we heard you screaming. 
my, 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 my earbuds. They're all tangled, but when I left, they were completely straight. Ziggy, I think you're being a little bit paranoid. This kind of thing happens all the time. Exactly. All you have to do is walk out of the room for like two seconds and then your earbuds are like an earbud spaghetti. It's an untold secret of the universe. No, but I don't know who did this and I don't know why, but I know that someone did this. But wait a second. Larry! Don't be ridiculous, Ziggy. Look at those kind eyes. That guy wouldn't hurt a fly. Besides, who on earth would think tangling earbuds is fun? I think I know who. Okay, deep breath, Ziggy, and maybe cool down on the coffee. We gotta go back to watching Pokemon. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. I just love birds and I'm so glad that my mother got me this for my birthday. Perfect. I love my job. Maybe one day I'll go to do a report on Elsa. Headquarters, Ziggy speaking. <laughs> Mom, I can't talk right now. I'm doing work. <laughs> yes, I took my vitamins. <laughs> but Mom, it's Hayden's turn to clean out the litter box. <sighs> Hold on, Mom. Ziggy, that's a tad off center. Why I don't know. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Ziggy. Larry, did you touch Ziggy's painting? Well, I just did, I did, but I didn't move it, no. Okay. He's lying! Did you see him move the picture? No, but I... Then stop blaming poor Larry. This kind of thing happens to all of us. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious, right? It's not funny. Okay. We're almost done with season one of Pokemon. We don't want any more distractions. Run. Run. <sighs> Batman and Supergirl will forget all about the popcorn that I spilled when they try my world famous brownies. More of Costco's world famous brownies. Oh, rats, I forgot a plate. I'll go check the kitchen. <laughs> Supergirl, what's going <laughs> My eyes. Why would someone do something so vile? Larry. Larry! <gasps> Larry, I've had enough of your silly pranks. Tangled earbuds, I can tolerate. Crooked pictures, I can tolerate. But I will not and cannot tolerate someone eating the center out of my what are you talking about? I can't eat your brownies. I'm afraid the proof is all over your face. Why would you do such a thing, Larry? Yeah, Larry. Uh, but, uh, all right. I'll take all the hair buds. I moved the picture. 
And I did some other things you guys probably haven't noticed yet. But why? I just wanted to make Ziggy laugh. Larry, I'm not mad at you for trying to make me laugh. I just wish that you didn't always prank me. I'm not the prankster type, you know? Especially when the brownies are involved. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that too. Look, I, I'll tune it down on the office brunch from now on. Friends? Friends. Stop! Oh! Looks like you're not the only one with the tricks up their sleeve. Come on, let's have another brownie. No superpowers or modern conveniences. There's a fire on the Other at camp. Ziggy hates pranks. You both know that. Besides, this is her first time at camp and she's clearly out of her comfort zone. Yeah, but she'd be a little baby of it. That's not true. It takes a lot of courage to face your fears, and Ziggy's facing hers just by being here. You should encourage her instead of trying to freak her out more. All right, campers, today's first activity is none other than the drum roll, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not doing it. Not having any of it. No way. No. Ziggy, I know camp isn't your thing. That's putting it mildly. But just by being here, you're showing how brave you are. Yeah, it takes serious guts to step out of your comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone is one thing, but jumping off a ledge out of your comfort zone is another. I promise it's not as scary as you think it is. As a matter of fact, you might have fun. And if I don't? Then you don't have to do it again. Just try, you've made it this far. Here, we'll go down first just to make sure it's not scary. do to celebrate? What? Eat worms. <laughs> Click to subscribe or watch more videos.